child. That's my motto. I got t-shirts, I got bumper stickers they'll sell you. No, I'm just kidding, mostly. So, so I said to the kids, clearly this is not working. I cannot tell you what it's like to do the job that I do, but I will teach you what it's like if you want. One by one, come to the front of the class, tell a joke. That's all I do. Stand in front of people, try to get them to laugh. And the kids said, okay, we'll come tell jokes, but you have to promise to share our jokes with the people you stand in front of. So I said, deal. So here's what I'll do. I'll give you like the three best jokes the kids gave me, sing you a few more songs, and, uh, and then away we go. So uh, the first joke the kids told me was about a bear. Great big, huge grizzly bear, like, like a 3,000-pound like a bear, okay? And uh, it sounds a little big now that I say it out loud. To <laughs> it's like the size of a bus, isn't it? 3,000? I, I have no idea. Picture a feasibly large bear. That's all I'm asking. <laughs> Six, 800 pounds? I don't know how big the bears get. But... You know, maybe he's really dense or something. I don't know. But, you know. And he's about to be a talking bear, so the weight's not going to matter, you know. <laughs> No one's going to say, well, talking I can buy, but 3,000, that's crazy. Let's do some bear research, would you? Just picture a large bear. Don't picture a cute little bear, enormous bear. Walks into a bar, sits down, says to the bartender, yeah, give me a gin and... Um... Tonic. Bartender says, why the huge paws? It's the best joke you've heard if you're seven, folks. I promise you that. They're, they're rolling around, they're peeing on themselves, peeing on each other. I peed on a few. It turned into a good day, really. It turned into a lot of fun after a slow start. All right, if you thought that joke was dumb, wait till you hear this song. Here we go. Well, my cell phone caught a virus, and the darn thing nearly wrecked it. And the computer chip on my car and fridge have also been infected and the more i look around my house the more i realize that every single thing i own has an illness of some kind <laughs> for instance my socks all have the runs my bass guitar is in a funk my snowblower must be sick because when i use it it blows chunks My stairs are up and down, and my globe's bipolar, too. My eggos just feel awful. My fireplace has the flu. My teddy bear's all stuffed up, though I never see him sneeze. My sarcophagus is a coffin. <laughs> Might have Graves' disease. My mop bucket's a little pale, and this is not a joke. My rooftop has the shingles. My golf club had a stroke. It's not getting better. My sweater's angoraphobic, though the outside isn't scary. My hubba bubba has gum disease and my smoothie berry berry. My footprints have depression, of that I have no doubt. And my maple tree is sapped And my light bulbs feel burnt out My sneakers' tongues are hanging out My car is just exhausted My freezer has cold sores Or at least it's always frosted My TV must be paranoid Feels like it's always being watched My bread maker has a yeast infection and doesn't even have a crutch. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> right. Here's another joke the kids told me. So uh, there's a cute little duck, cute little baby duck, like a 3,000 pound duck. <laughs> Waddles into a pharmacy, comes up to the pharmacist. Got any grapes? The pharmacist says, no, we don't carry produce of any kind. You want a grocery store? Go out the door, down the street, on the left, get grapes there. Oh. Out goes the duck. Second day, same duck. Got any grapes? No, I told you yesterday you want a grocery store. Right out the door, down the street, on the left, get grapes there. Oh. Out goes the duck. 
Third day, same duck. Got any grapes? No, I told you three days in a row now. Grocery store is what you want. You come in here one more day asking me for grapes, I'm gonna nail your feet to the floor. <laughs> Fourth day, same duck. Got any nails? No, you want a hardware store. Good, got any grapes? I barely understand that joke. The kids love it. <laughs> so I'll sing you a song. Apparently, the uh, last Canadian census pointed out that my home province of Manitoba, uh, we have the least amount of sex of all provinces or territories across the country. So uh, immediately upon hearing this news, I stayed at home by myself and wrote this song. If you're Canadian and looking for some loving, if you're from overseas searching for Casanova Whatever you do, don't come to the prairies Because there ain't no action here in Manitoba <laughs> Manitobans don't have sex ever We just sit slapping mosquitoes off each other's backs we Watch TV and whine about the weather Our love life's like the prairies flat now you'd think that in a land where winter lasts nine months That we'd snuggle up and keep each other warm But apparently the only studs are holding up the drywall Because once a week is well above the norm Manitobans don't have sex ever The worst lovers around we are among Could it be we lack the right equipment for the job? Was Louis Riel the only one of us who was hung? <laughs> oh, Maritimers rock each other's boats In Saskatchewan they sow wild oats Albertans tell your redneck sex is great Yeehaw! And there's world-class loving in T.O. And Quebecers love distinctly, don't you know? Despite what they say, they never separate <laughs> Well, we only join together if we're in a gang. And we've ballet, but no horizontal dance. Is that handsome young fella glad to see you? No, that really is a gun in his pants. <laughs> so go west to the Rockies to climb your sexual peak. Or to none of it where it's dark during the day. Well, us Manitobans will feed you and let you sleep on the couch. We're friendly, but not in a romantic way. Yes, we're let's just be friendly, Manitoba. <laughs> All right, so the third joke the kids told me was about uh, two little kitty cats. There's a little English cat and a little French cat. And the English cat, his name is one, two, three. And the French cat, conversely, his name, un, deux, trois. Right, two little cats, <laughs> 1,500 pounds apiece. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're gonna have a little swimming race across a river. Which cat wins the race, of course? The English cat, one, two, three, because un, deux, trois, cat sank. You want to know, it's kind of funny. A lot of French people won't get that joke. Did you know that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, that'd make no sense. So. <laughs> and French people, we can't swim? No, 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 no. no. <laughs>